but it's actually really mean, so I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So we are going to make our way over to the St. Louis Reptile Expo. This is a very spur of the moment little trip. I'm not planning on really picking anything up. Maybe something small. I did see a list. Um, a vendor called Spider Collector will be there, and sometimes he has some very nice things. So I will definitely check out his table and take you along with us. I've never had that problem in our group. Not big. Give the schedules easy almost. I I had so much stolen. I had so many. You keep them over Okay, so I don't have one of these, the dune scorpions. These aren't th that venomous, right? They're nope. like... They're like a beast. Yeah. Pick one out, you can have it. It's on me. Really? Thanks. I have about 400 of them right now. That's a female too. So you have two females too. I have two. I love them. And Actually, I was I've been looking for a buttermore. Yeah, that's what she was looking for like when she got her first one. Yeah. It's so cute. And he's just a doll. You guys already like got a ton of stuff. Yeah. And we got We're headed out to the car to put it away. I just dropped by really quick. I got this little guy. It's a P Cambridge. This is oh, actually so tiny. Yeah, it's gonna grow big, but it's actually really mean, so I'm a little nervous about that. Are you afraid of scorpions or are you no. afraid of them? Yeah. My mom didn't terrify me of scorpions from a young age, so I'm fine with them. I'm going to be using this box from the container store. I think these make perfect arboreal enclosures. Right now I'm only making a few holes for ventilation and I'm doing it this way because honestly I just feel like this is easier to get the size I want. So using these boxes for our boreals, I decided to use the top as the bottom and the bottom as the top if that makes sense. And by hot gluing the cork bark up there, it actually will be easier to do tank maintenance because they will not get their web messed up every time I take the lid off. Now I know this enclosure is quite big compared to this little guy, but these grow pretty fast. So I wanted it to be home for a while, just because it is a little bit more of a defensive species, I want to mess with it less. So although it does look very large, these things do not stay very small for too terribly long. This is a temporary enclosure for my new dune scorpion. I wasn't exactly expecting to pick this guy up, 
so I was not prepared but yeah this is an enclosure I just had and I also really had two choices at the pet store blue sand or green sand so we got blue for now but yeah I don't think it matters I did a little bit of looking up online and apparently they don't care what color their sand is but if you know something I don't know definitely comment it down below Anyway, this was a really fun little trip up to the St. Louis Reptile Expo. I'm very happy with my pickups. I have been wanting another arboreal for a while, and I'm just not ready to hop on the pokey bandwagon yet. Um, there are a couple species that I do want, but I'm just not ready to take that leap. So this is a good start. <laughs> I went with the P. Cambridge, the Trinidad Chevron, honestly because at the zoo and here in St. Louis we have one and I really like to look at that one, so I decided that was the one I would grab. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below. See ya!